Hi, everybody. We're getting close to Holy Week, and I'd like to fill you in on some important details about Palm Sunday and Easter morning. So let's start with Palm Sunday. We'll start outside with the whole congregation, kids, adults, um, Father Ben, Father Randolph. And um, after we begin processing into the church, the children will be invited to find me. Um, I'll try to be easily accessible, and the kids and I will walk in together. We'll process up the aisle all together, and when we get to the front, we'll just be dismissed for Sunday school. On Palm Sunday, we'll all be together in the children's chapel to hear a lesson from Norma Thatcher, and then Sunday school will dismiss as usual, and the kids will meet their parents back at the time of peace. On Easter Sunday, I want to let you all know that at both services, at the 8 o'clock and the 1015 service, we'll have an Easter egg hunt and the flowering of the cross. So for the flowering of the cross, it's a um, large wire cross that you're invited to bring flowers from your garden or flowers from the grocery store and put a, a stem in our flowering cross and it'll be brought up to the front of the church so that everyone can enjoy. And that'll happen on both uh, the eight o'clock service and the 1015. After the eight o'clock service, we'll have an Easter egg hunt for all the kids. So if your little ones get up early and they're ready to go and they're excited about Easter, join us at eight o'clock, there'll be music. Like I said, an Easter egg hunt and you'll still be able to make your brunch date in time. At the 1015 service on Easter morning, we'll, it'll be much the same as the eight o'clock. Um, there'll be the flowering cross, an Easter egg hunt for the kids immediately following the service, and a special appearance by the Easter bunny and his carrot. So I hope you can all join us. It'll be a very celebratory time at St. James and everyone always has a nice time and lots of fun. See you then.